Hi everyone, my name is Michael Sam and today is our first episode of Open Mic. Our first guest will be the Brunani brothers, Jordy and Chessie. So how, hey. boys, what's up boys? How you guys feeling? Pretty good. Kind of tired about training camp. A lot of practices, but good. Ready to go. Yeah, what about you, Jordy? I'm feeling good. I'm tired, but we were waiting for that moment. So we finally here again. Yeah. Sure. So what do you guys do during the offseason, like when you guys not playing football? Depends. I mean... I mean, last year I've been playing Catalan League, coaching and stuff. This year I just took it like like a up year, you know, and i just been working out and working. Yeah, you rep too, though, right? True. Yeah, I, I saw you I saw you out there with yeah, the Zebra Stripes. I mean, they pay good, yeah. bro. <laughs> they pay good money. Out. Hey, you need it's to come. extra money being around football. Anyway, yeah, so. yeah, you need to come be at one of our refs at Pinto Go Bats. The red one? Yeah. yeah I, mean, I don't know about that. Play, I don't know about that. We did that. We did all right. What about you, Joy? What do you do on the off season? So I'm a tattoo artist as well. So yeah. I combine both that I can do it. So it's pretty awesome that I can do both at the same time and everything. Yeah. You got me uh, a couple of tattoos, man. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. Got me. You hooked yeah. me up a little bit. Look, uh, yeah. you cannot see shit, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You some lotion, bro. Oh man, bro! Don't worry about the crema. I got, <laughs> I, I got that later. All right. Yeah. All right. Um, now we, we're talking. We're in uh, about the middle of training camp, and there's a lot of young guys here. What do you guys think? I mean, this is kind of like a brand new team. We got the veterans that like they kind of like step up a little bit, and then the new guys that come in, they look talented, but they need to grow as a player. Yeah. And they need to know they how to time. be at that level. Yeah. You know, I think they they raw talent and they they got the talent to be here, but they still gotta know how to be professional. Yeah. You know? Who stands out uh, the most? Mm. Mm. I like uh, the receiver Edu Perez. Yeah. yeah Where's he from? From Osos. Yeah. Osos. Okay. I, I and I like Osos, Edu so Molina. Yeah. Raúl Ternuda, the tight end. <clears throat> guys, yeah. I think yeah. that these are guys that should have been here before yeah. yeah but for one thing or another thing they never came so i think now they got the chance and i think they're gonna be they're gonna be good speaking about since there is a lot of young guys and you guys are third year veterans and you guys have been playing this game for a long time um you guys are respected all over the country and throughout europe too um everyone knows about the brunani brothers and i, and I apologize if i <laughs> pronounce your name wrong yeah, good. uh but everyone respects you guys everyone know of you guys these young guys look to you uh, for leadership. So any advice that you want to give them or how, like what kind of advice you give them? I mean, the advice I would give them is just to work their asses off and just feel proud about what they're doing, you yeah. know? I mean, feel proud about playing with the Dragons, feel proud about playing football, you know, being disciplined and everything's going to come. They, yeah. they, we just uh, put in the path for them, you know, so they can, in the future, they can earn real money. Yeah. Football. Yeah, I agree. I, I think one of the things is uh, they got to pay more attention to details. Yeah. So, like, little things that coaches say, it's like, you got to really do that, you know, because then they're going to watch film. They're going uh, they off the field or when we go to meetings, all day, I think that counts. So, I think that's one thing. And so, like you said, be disciplined with that as well. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of coaching, uh, Coach Black, who was a defensive coordinator last year, now he's the head coach. He was a, you know, really fun guy last year, but this year I'm seeing him a, a different man from yeah, last yeah. year. How do you guys feel? Uh, him Pretty being good. Head coach? I mean, I we it. know him already. We love him. Yeah. You know, but yeah, I mean, now he's a head coach. He's got to be like more, more. Um, I don't know how to say it. Like more. <sighs> It's like the chief of the team. Yeah. Right? You know, so he got. He cannot be joking around that much. Now, yeah. You know, so he got to be more respected. I see him going from offense and defense and individual drills. He kind of bounces around. Yeah. Coach Andrew didn't do that last year. Not you, really. No, no. So, uh, I mean, last year we can, we was like kind of two teams in yeah. one team, you know? Yeah. And you could feel it during games, maybe, or during practices. Yeah. And that was that was alright because in every team we got two teams and we compete. offense defense and we compete but but at the end yeah. of the day we're in the same team and we got the same goal and the same mind and yeah I we, think Coach Black is good at doing that getting yeah. everybody together and everybody's important don't matter if you offense defense special teams yeah. staff 
Exactly. Water boy, it don't matter. Exactly. Everybody's everybody. important and everybody, everybody contributes to the team. Yeah, I'm a I'm a I'm a water boy too this year. So yeah, <laughs> I'm a, I do a little bit of everything. A little bit thirsty. A little bit. A little bit of this. A little bit of that. <laughs> Um, speaking of last year, we won eight games last year. We went eight and five, losing to Vienna in the semifinals. Yeah. And this year, uh, want, for a second year in a row, they have us in a low rank as I think they have us ranked number 15. What you, how you guys feel? I feel a little bit disrespected, but yeah. at the same time, I don't mind. It's just people saying what they think. Yeah. So yeah. what they think don't really matter to me. Exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, the thing is, I'd rather be underdog every time. Yeah. But... I, we kind of feel disrespect about what we did, you know, yeah. and they don't they don't see us like a real challenge or like a real team or like a real talent team, you know. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. We we ready to prove them wrong. Yeah, I, I've been here for a year, man, and I see uh, that you Spaniards are so hardworking. You guys got so much like toughness, mental toughness, and yeah. you love you guys love this game. Really? So I, I I'm excited to see you guys play. Um. What are you guys' expectations? expectations? Always win the championship. Yeah, the expectation yeah, is always, always the yeah. same. The goal is always the same. I, I don't think, I don't think you can come and play this season. And you're not ready enough to play everybody if you not got if you don't feel like you won the championship, you know? Yeah. I don't feel I don't know, it's, if people think that oh we only gonna make the playoffs, that you you probably not even gonna make the playoffs. Yeah. You know? So I don't know. It's always a championship, and we've been close to it. We yeah. have been close. We when one. I mean, one close. game close. One game yeah. close. So, we've yeah. Been, yeah. So uh, that it's it's pain, and and, and now we kind of taste it, you yeah. know. And now we want to. We lost a lot of starters, man. We we uh, a lot of guys went to different teams. Yeah. Uh, we got a, a brand new team, a lot of new faces. Losing Rubia uh, for the defense is probably one of the, the top uh, sack leaders in the in the league last year. Yeah. Losing him was pretty big. Uh, do you think he can be replaced? Everybody can be replaced. In That's true. League. Yeah. And especially last year, you was there too. Yeah. And I don't know if they play one on one, they play one on one against you or one on one against him. If you're a talented guy, you're gonna get the sack or get the fumble or get everything. You know. Yeah. So, I, I I mean, Ruya for me is a is a great player. Yeah. But he was contributing to the team. It was not just him playing. You know. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I agree. Yeah. And and. If they don't want to be here, then don't be here. You know yeah, exactly. Like, it's having somebody here that don't want to be here or don't feel like he don't need to be here. It, it's gonna be worse than having somebody coming, maybe not as talented as him, Working but he's gonna off. work his ass off yeah. to yeah. be like, not like him, but. Be. Try at least try. Yeah. He's 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 been working hard this off season. He's yeah. trying to you know get to a, a higher level and yeah, going so to CFL. I so. totally you yeah. know I respect that. And yeah, and we love him for sure. Yeah. I mean, if we you love want to go black. CFL and NFL, shit. Yeah. I wish I could do that. You know. Yeah. So and yeah. I'm yeah. too old. Now. Yeah, you look you. <laughs> <laughs> you up there. But, but I'm happy for him. You know, yeah. if he following steps to go there, then I'm not gonna be mad at somebody want to go to the next level. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You guys was, or I saw you guys training with Connor, the, the new quarterback. What do you guys think about him? He's an awesome person, man. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know how he's going to handle the situation in, in our offense, but I think he's a hardworking guy. He has, he's a leader. yeah, he's a leader. He's vocal. He, he, and he's ready to go. I mean, he, I mean, at the beginning, he was just talking to everybody, just making sure everybody was on the same page. Yeah. And that's the thing that Zach being do, you know. Yeah. So now we got a real leader in the offense. Yeah, I like how you said earlier when you said everybody, everybody can be replaced. I can be replaced. Rubia can everybody. be replaced. Us, Zach everybody. can be replaced. Yeah. Everybody. Exactly. Exactly. everybody can be replaced. So. Yeah, I mean, I saw Felix kind of like manhandled you at practice yesterday. <laughs> so I get, you definitely <laughs> can be replaced. <laughs> <laughs> kind of out of shape, you know? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So let me ask you something. Um, you guys have been playing. Why you guys decide to get into uh, to play football? I mean, we grew with it. I mean, I didn't. I didn't even realize. Yeah. And then I was just playing football. You know. Yeah. So I mean, we was. How I mean, old were you? I was. I started when I was five. Yeah. Did you really? Yeah. I was five four. Five years old. Football. I was four. Yeah. 
Wow. Was yeah. I mean, my father, when we, when we was born, my father was a coach already. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And we was with football we, since we was born. Yeah, it was not was that, like one day click and then we played football. No, yeah. It was just all around. Was that here in Spain or in England? Here in Spain. Spain. Okay. But you guys lived in England too? No. 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 Never. Okay. All right, man. So, who's your favorite team, and who's your favorite NFL player? NFL player and I mean, NFL team. I mean, I don't have a, like a really, really favorite team. I just like to see football. Because there's all around players that yeah. they can play in the yeah. NFL. Like you can have like favorite players, but there's a lot. If my position, the lead is cornerback. There's a lot of them. They they're good, you know. And you can watch one, see how he works. And see the other ones, see how we do. They all kind of different at the yeah. same time. So I like watching games, and that's it. <laughs> to grow this sport um, in Spain and, and Europe, what do you think it's going to take? Hmm. Oh, first of all, exposure. We need exposure. We need like um, sponsors too to make us grow as a as a sport. You know. Um, I think I leave egos out the door. Yeah. You know, there's too much ego in Europe. They all think they invented football when it's not true, you know. Mm. I think if everybody worked together, we'll be growing faster than what we're doing, yeah, you know. That's right. The problem is everybody's trying to do their own thing or I don't like this dude, then, you know, I don't like what he's doing, even if it's good for football yeah. in Europe, in Spain or whatever, you know. So yeah. I think that's probably one of the main reasons as well. I, I think I've been playing this game for a long time since I was – 14 and there's nothing i played basketball baseball i ran track cross country you did and there is nothing yeah when i was a little skinnier <laughs> 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 to me it's Tavesa is in madrid uh, but uh there's nothing like it man there's nothing like football it's a different sport it's a different mentality uh, a different bonding a different yeah. and everybody loves it why yeah. everybody yeah. got egos and, and once you each and other. once you touch football same feeling. once you touch football you get addicted like yeah you never go back yeah. I see. Once you, you go, go black, you never. Know, <laughs> 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 Once you, you, you go black. <laughs> uh, let me say, uh, you guys seem a little different this camp than last year, though. I, when when last year, especially like us, just you two, like you guys were like definitely the most loudest, the most vocal, the more crazy, the locals on the team. And uh, this year, you guys are a little bit more on the reserve side. Is it because you guys know there's a, there are a lot of young guys? We, we, like to, we like to joke with people and stuff, but now we got a responsibility yeah. with the team, you know? Yeah. We got to lead the team. We got to let them know who who does the stuff, who, who, who leads the team, you know? So now we got to take lead it more serious. Yeah. Yeah, lead, lead be more serious. But, I mean, when we out of... The of day, yeah. At the end of the day, we gotta have fun, yeah. you know. So that's our way to have fun. Now we gotta show the way to do it, and then they gonna have fun as well. Yeah, yeah. you know. Now they all over here trying to make the team. You know, they yeah. all reserved now. They don't know what's going on. Yeah. So, but I mean, at the end of the day, we gotta. It's like I said, lead by example, and then after that, we all it's gonna be all fun and games. I see the guys that were here last year, and, and of course you two. Um, there's a different, there's a confidence, there's a, a focus that you guys are ready. Um, you guys are ready to prove this league, uh, who the hell you are. Yeah. I see that. We I missed it confidence. last year. Yeah. Like we missed, like we went and played Vienna three times with the same fucking like playbook. Yeah. And then we lose three times, we lose semifinals. That hurt a lot. Yeah. yeah. Semifinals hurt a lot. That was hurtful. Because we knew we got the talent at least to compete with them. You know, it didn't even look like we competed. You know, so that that's worse, you know, because we lost all respect that we gained all year in that game. Yeah, that's how I feel, yeah. you know. So I guess that's why they got us on the ranking like that and everything. But at the same time, you know, man, boys, I appreciate you guys joining me for this episode, man. Thank you so much. All right, guys, that was our first episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, please subscribe to our social media, uh, Dragons Football's accounts, and we see you next weekend. Uh, feel the fire.